Alright, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to the Heavenly Father. I'm now Yahweh Hashem, Mashal, Yahweh Shah, right? Yahweh being the Heavenly Father. In the Hebrew, which means He exists. Baha Hashem is in the name. And um, Yahweh Shah is the deliverer, <coughs> right? Which His name in the Hebrew means deliverer, right? So that's funny in itself. If you look at the word Joshua, right? So we know. Even on top, the scriptures tell you that, um, you know, the Most High is the only Savior or whatever, which a lot of brothers, you know, that claim to be Torah only stumble at that verse. Um, yeah, but first and foremost, man, I want to give all praise to the Father and all y'all. By Shema Shakyahu Shah, double honors to all the righteous elders, and uh, peace and blessings to all the uh, hopeful elect and all the righteous sisters, man, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. <coughs> <clears throat> so yeah man the, the name Joshua in itself which I'm going to bring out my scripture for the day which is going to be um, in Apocrypha but I just want to get the name Joshua alright so the Most High uses his creation uh, to do different things man All right, right like we have Joshua in the Hebrew right or some some say Yehoshua, right? Yehoshua, right? Or Yahaw, Yahusha, right? Some say Yahusha, right? Or Yahusha, right? Or uh, Yahusha, right? Dealing with Joshua. Joshua's name in the Hebrew <laughs> means to deliver. So he was his name means he deliver, right? Which you know, all glory go back to the Holy Father. But without uh, the Holy Father creating Joshua and giving him the name Deliverer, he wouldn't have that ability. So yes, the Most High is the only Deliverer, right? Meaning the one who created everything, man. All right, to uh, be able to make that happen, to where you able to have the power to deliver somebody, all go back to the Father, all right? So we have uh, Joshua. It says the English name of Joshua is rendering of uh, the Hebrew language uh, Yehoshua. It says Yehoshua, right? Uh, some brothers say uh, Yehusha, right? Or Yehu, Yehusha, or uh, Yehoshua, or um, uh, Yeshua, or uh, Yehoshua, right? Which all goes back to the name Joshua. And it says interpreted in Christian theology as Yahweh's salvation. Or it says Yahweh, right? Or Yahweh is salvation. Okay. It says Jesus is the English derivation of the Greek transliteration of Yehoshua. So that's where the name Jesus uh, comes from, uh, Yehoshua, right? Or Joshua, right? Uh, Yahusha. <coughs> okay. In the Septuagint. All instances of the word of are rendered as Jesus or uh, Yeshua, which also means salvation, man. Let's get it in uh, Joshua, right? Was not Joshua used to uh, bring Israel into the promised land, if I'm not mistaken? So he was used as a deliverer. Joshua was a chosen to succeed Moses as the leader of the Israelites, right? He led the Israelites and uh, was used to deliver them and bring them back to the promised land, man. He was their leader, man. He was their middleman at that time. That's why you have a whole book dedicated to him about how he was a, a, a middleman for the nation of Israel. Okay? He was like, he was the intercessor of Moses. <clears throat> Right. Hey, that's funny. The name of Joshua alone, you know what I'm saying, is deliverer. Okay. One second. Let's see what we got. So yeah, man, that's what it is, man. You know, 
Joshua, brother, in the Hebrew, means to deliver, deliver. So his name alone means deliverer. So he is a deliverer uh, according to the flesh. But according to the spirit, the most high is the ultimate deliverer. That's all it's saying, man. You have deliverer according to the spirit, which is the heavenly father. And then you have uh, fleshly deliverers that the most high set up. Okay. Good Joshua, man, in the Hebrew. Okay. Let's see what it says. Definition. No. Because uh, people read that verse like the Most High didn't, like when the Most High is literally saying he's the only, there is no uh, deliverer but him. People saying that like the Most High don't use people to deliver, which the scriptures cl clearly shows that, you know. Even, uh, it's all throughout the scriptures, man. Let's get it in uh, Joshua. Which I'm uh, getting in the Hebrew, which his name means deliver. All right, salvation man or Yahweh saved his name means Yahweh saved so you know Yahweh can use this man to save somebody and uh, all glory goes back to the Heavenly Father right but this man's name means the Most High saves just like when we say Yahweh shot people bug out when we say Yahweh shot Yahweh shot just means Yahweh saves and people get mad at that all right, whether you say Yahushua or uh, Yahoshua or Yeshua or Yahushua, we know the definition of the name means the Most High uh, saves, man. All right, or Yahweh saves, man. That's what it means. His name means the Most High saves, All right? Yah saves, man. That's just what it means. Okay, and guess what? When the Most High used Joshua. Joshua did a lot of acts that, uh, you know, that was saving the Israel. He got them back into the homeland. If, a, if any brother that's used to bring his nation and give them their own land, that brother is considered like a savior, right? He was used as a, a savior from the Most High. That's why his name means uh, Yahweh saves, man. So my verse for the day is going to be uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7. Right, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse um, 16. For in his hand, for in his hand are both we and our words, man. So in the Most High's hand, right, are both we, meaning all people on earth, and our words, meaning everything people say, the Most High established it, whether it be good or evil. The scriptures tell you, the Most High declares unto man what is his thoughts according to Amos. And it also tell you in Proverbs... That man's goings are the Lord. How shall a man understand his way? And it also says that, um, that uh, what's the one I wanted to quote? It's like that. It's coming. It's coming. Instead of remember, it's one second, beloved. It's that new covenant stuff when you can just go off the head and you know quote scriptures. You know it's written in that heart, man. All right. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it's a scripture that says the way of man is not in himself to walk. That walk to direct his steps. That's Jeremiah. Okay. So, you know, everything that's established, whether it be good or evil, the Most High is in control. And you see that all throughout the scriptures, man. Right? So, uh, you know, Most High used Joshua to uh, save Israel. Right? It said he, he, Joshua was taking Amalekites out, man. You got that in Exodus 17, 13. Uh, you know, Am Joshua was a beloved, man. Moses told Joshua... And, and to get him some beloved brothers to go fight Amalek, man. That was a beloved, man. 
Okay, he was used as a savior for the nation of Israel. And his name means the most high Yahweh saves. So he was used as a savior and credit was given back to the most high. Just like when we we call on Hamashak Yahweh Shai. Right? He's going to be used to save the nation of Israel and all credit is going back to the Father. There's nothing new under the sun. You see? We got uh, Joshua, the son of Nun, said he departed out of the tabernacle. He was a beloved man. Okay? You know? Used to get Israel back in the homeland and all that. He was uh, he also used, you know, uh, to go spy out the homeland before they got it, man. He was uh, a leader, right, from the Most High that that uh, brought Israel into the Promised Land. Okay? Ooh-wee. Yahweh Lahayaka. He said, hey, man, he was, he was with the Beloved, man. We got Numbers 27-18. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee, Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit. So the Beloved had the Spirit of the Most High on him, and his name meant Yahweh saves, man. And laid thine hand upon him. Also the doctrine of laying on hands, which transferring the Spirit. Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and he took Joshua and sent him before Eliezer, the priest of the congregation. So, yeah, man, the brother was used as a savior, man. Okay, that's why they had a whole book dedicated to him. Okay. Man, I'm going to have to go back and read about Joshua the son. No, he, he was off the hook. He was a, a real beloved, man. <laughs> and he was a savior, man. Right? Deuteronomy 3 and 28. But charge... Uh, Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him for he shall go over before this people See that he was a middleman for God's people and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see man So he caused Israel to inherit the land according to the flesh Right, but according to the spirit it was all set up by the most high man You know wisdom is double man Okay There was there was the spiritual and the physical man. You can't just deal with the physical man Right, or you can't just uh, deal with the spirit alone and not deal with the physical because you know what I'm saying wisdom is double, man. Things come in twos, man. Now you have a spiritual uh, things happen in the spirit realm and things happen in the physical realm. Okay, see that even he had the beloved get the homeland, man. Deuteronomy 34 9, Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. Ooh, we for he had for Moses had laid his hands on him. Amen. <laughs> but Moses had power, beloved. Just by touching the beloved, put the spirit on him. Which that's what the uh, the apostles was doing in the new covenant. And people get mad at the new covenant, man. When it's in it's in it's all in the in the book, man. You know. That, but that boy Joshua the son of Nun, he was powerful. So yeah, man, uh, everything that happens, it's all in the Most High's control. You know, the scripture says, "For in His hand are both we and our words, man." So if you say something positive, the Most High made you say. If you say something stupid and ridiculous, the Most High allowed it to happen, man. So, like it says, according to Wisdom Solomon seven and sixteen. For in his hand are both we and our words. So, you know, we just want to be careful with our mouth that we don't, uh, you know, exalt folly, man. Because the scripture says folly is set in great dignity. You know, and uh, pray that, you know, we be on the most high's good side, man. And try to seek his mercy. But uh, Joshua the son of he was clearly a middleman for Israel, man. <laughs> clearly. Middleman, and his name means the Yahweh saved, just like just like Yahweh Shai in the New Testament name means Most High saves. Same thing, nothing new. All right. Mm, oh yeah, Joshua, 
It said he met the captain of, of the host of the Lord. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of Yahweh am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship. See that? So guess what? Joshua was the son of Nun. Joshua was the son of Nun, fell on his face and worshiped the Most High through the captain of the Lord's army, man. Was Joshua committing adultery? Was was Joshua committing uh, spiritual uh, idolatry and adultery and fornication by worshiping uh, the captain of the host of the Lord? Because he wasn't. It wasn't that he was worshiping the captain of the host. He was reverencing Yahweh inside the angel, man. Just like in the New Testament, people rev uh, people reverence Yahweh. Inside Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, Joshua the son of Nun. Nobody ever try to play Joshua the son of Nun and say, Oh, brother, you're an idolater. You, uh, you bow down. You fell on your face to the earth and you worship the captain of hosts of, of the Lord. See that? Come on, man. Joshua the son of Nun was not going off when he uh, acknowledged holiness, man. Those angels represent Yahweh, man. Okay? They're not Yahweh himself, but Yahweh is in them. The spirit of Yahweh is in them. Also, don't you know the seven angels are also referred to the seven spirits of Yahweh? Okay? Come on, man. These are the, the Most High's messengers. Why they name me angel? Messenger. Or middleman. Okay? <laughs> Middleman, Joshua 5 and 13. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword, sword drawn in his hand. Ooh, we. So we seen a man with his sword. So this is this is actually an angel, and he had a sword, and it was not a sin. The angel was not a sinner. The, the angel wasn't uh, the, the angel wasn't uh, less spiritual. Because he had a sword, so because he had a sword, that means he's not he's not a spiritual man. No, nah, that wasn't that wasn't going down with the uh, captain of the Lord of Hosts, beloved. Okay. And it came to pass when Joshua was by the Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. He had that thing on him. And Joshua went up unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? Right. The angel came in the likeness of a man. And he said, Nay, right, art thou for us or for our adversaries? Ooh, we. And he said, Nay. Right, no. But as the captain of. I ain't read this in a long time, Israel. This powerful. But as the captain of the. Do I get a whole lot of for put, bringing this to a beloved's remembrance as well? But as the captain. I ain't read this in a minute, and I remember this verse. But as captain of the host of the Lord. Am I now come? He's he's one of the captains, man, of 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 the armies of Yahweh. Right, captain, baby. Right, it's they they've got it that star. Some people would say uh, shar. Right, which is a a prince or a ruler, leader, chief, commander, overseer. Okay. captain governor come on man this is the prince man he's the prince he says he's the prince what he say and he said nay but as in the hebrew the word captain is actually shar which means prince right but as prince of the army of the lord he says he's a prince of the most high the army hey hamashak said what he say he said think not that i can pray to the heavenly father and he can uh, command 12 legions of angels, roughly paraphrasing. This is him, man. Of the Lord am I now come, but as uh, a captain or prince of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship, man. And said unto him, what saith my Lord unto his servant? So he knew that Yahweh was inside the angel, man. Read, read Genesis 18. It speaks about Yahweh being inside the angel, man. 
Okay? Because when you see an angel, it's like seeing Yahweh. Remember when Jacob wrestled an angel? He said, I seen God, man. Y'all ain't ready, man. You beloveds. Gotta, gotta, you, you beloveds gotta, you know, lift your vibrations up, man. Because the scriptures is high vibration. If you're on a low vibration, you cannot receive the frequencies of the scriptures, man. Okay? This is powerful. He said he was the prince of the army of the Lord of hosts. And like now I'm coming. Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship. And said unto him, what saith my Lord unto his servant? So he's saying, what did the Most High say to me, man? He know the angel is a messenger of Yahweh. Right? And he said, he fell down and did worship. Who is, is he worshiping the angel? Because he fell down before the angel? No. He's acknowledging the spirit of the Lord inside of the angel. Okay? To, to worship, bow down, obeisance, right? To obey, reverence, fall down. To bow down, to depress, to bow down before superior in homage. The angel of, of the Lord, the prince of the arm of Yahweh is superior in homage than Joshua. He had to bow down, man. Ooh, wee, that's why, I, man, man, them angels. Before God and worship, before angel. Shaka, Shaka, in homage to royalty. See that? That angel was royal, man. He was he had the spirit of Yahweh Lahayaka. So so people get mad at people for acknowledging the Mashiach, man. So I guess this was idolatry too then, huh? Jake silly, man. And and the captain of Yahweh's host said unto he's the captain of the most high's army. Said unto Joshua. Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. Oh, wait, man, the most high, boy. <laughs> and people get mad at me because I said I've seen angels before. You know, they try to play you like you a bug out, but it's all good. You niggas don't really believe the scriptures, man. You get, you get offended when somebody tell you they really seen an angel. But you read about scriptures where people seen angels. Jay crazy. Y'all ain't really in this word, man. A lot of you brothers and sisters is playing games, man. And uh, you need to stop playing games and tell the world, you know, you're not serious about the Most High. You know? The scripture says, yay yeah, or nay, man. Hot or cold, man. Okay? No lukewarm, no nonsense, man. Right? So what do you say? Uh, in the hand of God, in His hand are both we and our words. You got people that think they're in control of uh of their life when really you're not man you know all you can do is pray that the most high uh establish your goings in in the ways of righteousness because uh the most high the scriptures tell you he can give you over to your ruin who's in control the so at the end of the day man the most high is in control baby shalom